Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the sixth video in our series in lap steel riffs and the tuning of Open G. Um, and welcome to all the new subscribers. I've seen some big growth in the past couple of weeks here, and I finally hit that 1K mark. I'm so close to being a YouTube partner now. It's so exciting. <laughs> in any case, uh, today's lick, which I just played for you, just a simple sort of a blues rock and roll riff in the key of open G, um, and the, uh, the tuning is open G, uh, the key is G. Um, just a simple little riff. We're going to use a little vibrato. <laughs> Sorry. And, and some, uh, a couple of big hammer-ons for the four chord. In any case, it's, it's a fun lick. There'll be a jam track to go with it. Um, so stay tuned, and we'll get right to it. This lick begins uh, by plucking the low uh, string and the high string together simultaneously. The bar itself will begin at the fifth fret on the high string. So essentially the octave. Uh, so what we do is we pluck them together simultaneously while using a bit of vibrato. And then take the bar right down to the third fret on the high string, the first string. Uh, and while simultaneously plucking the low open string. So the beginning should be like this. You'll see that I'm just using just a little bit of vibrato while I do it. Okay, while simultaneously plucking that low string. And then we do that classic little riff that we've been using all throughout this series. Um, I'll show it to you. Kind of like that Dwayne Allman thing that I just love again, only this is on the lap steel. Okay, so let's look at that part of it. We're going to start with the bar on the second string, third fret. And we're going to simultaneously pluck it with our index finger and slide down to the first fret. One more time. Then we use our thumb on the third string and bring the bar back up to the third fret and slide it just a bit higher to the fourth fret. So we kind of get into that major key sort of thing like this. Okay, and then we, of course, finish it with the thumb on the open G string. All right, so. And maybe the bar just a bit higher on that fourth fret. Okay, so let's look at the whole thing. Now, of course, it will be a bit quicker in the jam track. So let's play it sort of close to speed. Okay. Simple as that. Now we carry on. Uh, we use the bar. We're still sort of based at the third fret, but now we're going to take the bar down to the fourth string third fret. Okay, and we did this lick before, I can't remember which video, but it's basically just a hammer on. So we hammer on using our thumb on the fourth, uh, fourth string, hammer on to the third fret, and then play with our index finger that open G string, kind of a seventh. Okay. One more time. Just kind of use our thumb to end it on that fourth string as well. Okay, let's take it from the beginning. So sorry, I've given you one extra note there. The thumb does not finish it on the fourth string. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so it's basically just a let those strings ring open 
And then we go to the big hammer on, and the hammer on is going to cover the bottom four strings. So that hammer on will begin at the third fret. So we're basically just hammering on from the, the third fret to the fifth fret on the low four strings. Okay, one more time. Now let's play the whole thing so far up to this point. A little bit of vibrato there. One more time. Now, the very uh, final part of this lick has two variations that we're going to use. The first variation is going to be this sort of trick. Right, so it's just basically a second finger plucking the second string at the sixth fret. Then the index finger down to the third string, third fret. And then just finish it with the index finger on the open G third string. Now, the second variation, same kind of lick, only now we're going to use the second finger at the fifth fret, first string. Okay? Then you got to skip the second string, use your index finger, and go down to the third string, third fret. And then open again. So the variation is this, is simple. It's just we're going to use this note. Excuse me, this note and this note. Okay, so let's play the whole lick with the two variations, and I'll play it slow. So that's all it is. Now this part here is a little bit tricky if you're not used to the string skip from the second finger down to the index finger uh, on the third string. I sometimes follow it up, but hey, <laughs> we're in this together. It's just a quick little stutter, almost just like the first one. Alright, so let's play it one time and then we'll get straight to that jam track. Simple as that. Okay, stay tuned, we'll get right to the jam track now.
enjoyed this little lesson today. And once again, thank you to all the new subscribers. This is making me feel like it's uh, being paid attention to and well worth it. And I'm having a good time doing it. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one lessons, uh, visit facebook.com slash slide guitar lessons. Um, and if one-on-one -on -one lessons is a little further than you want to go, but you enjoy what's happening here, you can consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Dan Walsh. In any case, thanks for tuning in. Lots more to come, and I'll see you guys real soon. Mm -hmm.